Chris, we have a guest, like always. It wouldn't be a normal show without one, but this one's different. Yes. We have professional rugby player from the Toronto Wolfpack, Reese Jacks. Welcome, Reese. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. So, hey. Um, we're going to talk some rugby, we're going to talk beer, and uh, that stuff we were talking about earlier about the women. Okay. So, uh, this is going to be a really fun episode. <laughs> Let's start off with the beer. Yeah, so uh, I, I was reading online, because uh, I haven't been to a game yet, hopefully soon, uh, that, that you have a craft beer garden at the Den. And uh, I noticed that Henderson Brewery is one of the, the breweries that they serve there. So I checked them out, grabbed the Henderson Best Ooh. For, the, for, for, the, for the best team right now. A championship team in yep. Toronto. They are going all the way to the uh, next uh, tier. Yeah. Championships. Yeah. Championship. Championship. No S. What's that league? What's the sponsorship of that league? Uh, Kingston Press. Kingston Press. Nice. So, so first guess, year champions. Yeah. How how can you complain about that? Nah, I can't complain. Being good so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Henderson's best. So it seems very proper that we. Uh, it seems quite fitting. It's, it's an English ale. They play in an English league. So. Yeah, first transatlantic rugby team in the world. Yeah, that's right. Now you also play. For the national team, Canadian national team. Yeah, yeah, that's right. My um, my granddad was born in Toronto, actually. Nice. So he was born and raised. I think I'm not sure the exact um, age he left for Australia, but he was um, born in Toronto. So that's my link to the national team. Played a few tests for them now. So fantastic. Just like home for me. All right, let's give this a go, Jen. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's not bad, though. It, uh, it's like an ale, that. Wow. Yeah, it, it's an English ale. It's a, mm. it, it, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Mm. And, and I, if I may be wrong, it's that extra special bitter that we had uh, when Jay Chapman was on the show. Ah, yes. <clears throat> it has that, uh, that bitter taste, but not a bad bitter taste. It has a good bitter taste. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't have that stay in the back of your throat. So. Yeah. Oh, that's all right for me. So, something you could definitely... Have poured at a pub in downtown London for sure, or at a Wolfpack game. Mm -hmm. So your uh, stadium's called the Den. Yeah, we like to call it the Den. I think they started that nice and early, and it, it caught on. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll it's fantastic, it it's perfect. Well, it makes yeah. sense with the name. Yeah, you know? exactly right. Well, I could definitely have a few of these too many. I know sure. they, they they go down easy. Hmm. Now you bought this at the uh, LCBO. I did. And uh, next time we have a Wolfpack member, uh, Henderson's going to send us on instead? Maybe. So, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your season. First season, yeah. Wolfpack's first season. Uh, you started in the third tier uh, just recently as you won your last game. You got promoted with uh, spare games in hand. Yep, that's right. So obviously we had big ambitions this year. We signed a really strong team. A strong coach, so we had a uh, big ambitions, and we've done what we set out to do. We only lost one game all year, all year so far, and now we're promoted still with the game in here. Nice, crazy yeah. good, crazy yeah. good. It seems that uh, Toronto yeah. is finally truly hitting the right the, uh, the the sports world with uh, you guys winning. Toronto FC doing extremely well. Yep. Um, I know that the uh, upcoming Raptors and uh, Maple Leafs have high hopes. Yep. Uh, so do we, as fans. Yeah. As Toronto fans, it doesn't matter, as I said earlier, it doesn't matter what sport they're playing. I'm behind them 100%. Yeah, yeah. The Argos are competing still for the East, so we hope to yeah. see them in the uh, Great Cup in Ottawa at the uh, end of the season. I I'm, I'm liking it. And yeah. Maybe you guys rubbed off on everybody. Yeah, you know? they, maybe you brought that heat to the to the city <laughs> that they just needed. <laughs> yeah, they told us that when we first got here that all um, people from Toronto will support their teams, especially if they are doing well. Yeah. So we have seen that in our games. We've had over seven thousand to most of our games on the weekends. Our biggest crowd with eight thousand. So nice. I think success definitely helps that. Oh. Yeah. And, and so ho yeah. hopefully next year they'll just grow. Yeah, more we, fans. we said that because obviously the higher you got, more um, support the away teams have. So we're hoping that that'll bring 
even more crowds, more competitive matches as well. There's been a few big blowouts um, that we've had against some of the teams. So next year will be all competitive matches. That's right on. So it won't be like 26 to 2 or something? Yeah, so that was one of our closest, I think that's one of the closest games close we've had. Yeah, we've had a 70 to 2, we've had, wow. I think most of the games are above 50. So as I said, we've got a strong, a really yes. strong team, especially for the league we're in. So next year will be a lot more competitive. That is crazy <laughs> high scores. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Few demolition games, but um, <laughs> yeah, that, we got put in that league. That's the rules of the competition, so we have to do what we're told. Um, and yeah, and you have uh, um, great support from your ownership and uh, your sponsors. Yeah, which you would need. Being, I mean, you guys, what, what do you do? Uh, how does that work? It obviously, doesn't work like North American sports scheduling wise. Yeah, where. Uh, uh, a Toronto team plays here this week and they play the next team mm. away three, four days later. That ain't happening yeah. for you guys. What is it, like a, a month, two months? Yeah, and a half but basically it's, it would be a month in England and a month over here. That's the easiest way um, it was able to set out. So we, in all, we've done about three or four blocks in Toronto where we stayed for the whole month. Okay. And teams have flown to us, they fight us maybe three or four nights, I'll stay over here, play the game, go home. Nice. Now, if we had other rugby players here. Yeah. I'm thinking Chris wouldn't be taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. Um, I guess my position um, is normally the smallest sort of guy, just to be a bit more, I guess, agile and to get around the park a bit easier. But really, in our whole team, there'd only be me and maybe two or three others that <laughs> aren't massive. Um, so but most of the guys would be easily over 100 kilos, I'm oh, sorry, I don't know, put pounds. Um, push We're Canadian, kilos yeah. works. Yeah, no. It um, works, we don't know either, but yeah. it works. <laughs> I don't know how much I weigh in kilos. But. <laughs> so yeah, and as I said, the biggest guys are looking at over 120 kilos, so they're, they're big humans. But you're not small, you're just our, you have a height issue like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I see the size of your arm, so yeah. my legs aren't that big. <laughs> So it's not like you're a small yeah. person. Yeah. I mean, you guys obviously built, and and you play halfback. So halfback that position usually entails a more agile yeah. player, right? Yeah. Normally they are the, the smaller sort of guy in the team, so they have to be a bit more agile. I guess we'd run a few extra k's compared to some of the other guys in the team. So having a few less kilos does help that to get around the field. Uh, but then you do have those bigger guys to. Make sure you look after. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're not getting run over by the yeah. other big guys. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, I'm exactly. thinking you feel it a little bit more when they uh, come yeah, around. Yeah, don't you do get picked on a bit. Normally, you're the player that they do like to run at. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's important to have those big guys inside you. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> like I was watching some of, of old footage from previous games, and I was just like, "Oh my god, that is that looks painful." <laughs> well, I can relate. I have a big brother, <laughs> right? And. Uh, for those who know him, he's not the size of me. He's a big boy. Yeah. So I can relate. <laughs> yeah, my whole childhood was a running match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Without the ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, wow. Well, I want to thank you for coming. That's sweet. And we're going to, uh, I know Chris and I are planning to come to a game in the, the very near future. In fact, I think we only have one more shot. Yeah, one more shot yeah. this year, right? So, yeah, this will be our last game this weekend against Doncaster. So, hopefully, you guys can come out and. Enjoy. Oh, we'll make it happen. Yeah, yeah. You also have uh, uh, the promotion which we talked about. So when does that season start for, for next year? Yeah, so that will start in, I uh, believe, February next year. And um, we'll start then in the championship. And you'll do pre-season on the other side of the pond or on yeah. this side? Yeah, no, we'll do pre-season in England. Yeah. Just because they said the, that it's easier to train. It's yeah. warmer? Yeah. Well, yeah. apparently, well, you know, I want to see winds are gone. <laughs> I, I, wouldn't Im I couldn't imagine playing <laughs> Slamming into each other in the snow. Nah, well, they wouldn't. Awesome they wouldn't. Uh, they'll, they'll have to set up an indoor facility over the years. Yeah. Once yeah. Uh, that's the plan. Like all the boys want to stay in Toronto all the time, full time. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> we love of it course. here. <laughs> it's a great city. It's an awesome city. So yeah, hopefully in the future that's the way we can do it. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, thanks for coming, and uh, best of luck in the future for the Wolfpack. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.